KCR's Backstage Pass. We're here with Linnea Olson. First of all, welcome to San Diego. Thank you. Welcome to the Casbah. Thanks. Um, okay, so I believe it's your first time in San Diego. How are you liking it so far? I'm liking it a lot. Yeah. Very nice. Um, haven't been able to see that much of the city, but it was... I took a walk down by the water and into a gas line. Yeah. Nice. Really nice. I okay. like it. Yeah. Have you had a burrito here yet? No. Is that what you should have? You need to have a burrito. Okay. Yeah. Um, have down the street, literally, right? You need to pick up a burrito. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you play the cello, correct? Yeah. How did that get started? That's not something a lot of kids pick up. How did that happen? I, I don't really know. I, I started when I was a kid, like six years old. Uh, so, um... We have we have a very strong tradition of um, music schools in Sweden. So um, I just we have these tryout days where you uh -huh. try different instruments, and then I just I just pick the cello. I don't remember why. Maybe because it was big. I don't know. Just, <laughs> it just something gravitated you towards yeah. it. Then. And then I just continue playing it. And, yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. So the cello is usually I don't I'm. Don't know a lot about the cello, but I know it's usually in a lot of classical yeah. um, stuff. How did you combine that? I know you have more of like a poppy indie feel. Mm -hmm. How did you combine that? I mean, I all my education has been classical mm -hmm. on the instrument, but I I haven't really when I played outside school. Yeah, it's just always been other kind of genres. Almost always, I started experimenting a lot in other genres. When I was, I mean, in my early 20s, like when I started music college. Um, so I, it just, it's kind of just naturally went from when I quit music college or when I was through with the studies, yeah. I, um, I just quit playing classical more or less and just okay. got Gave that up. <laughs> yeah, because I don't, um, it's not my way of, I don't feel I can express myself as I want to when yeah. I play that music. Um, so, yeah. It kind of kind of just happened. It kind of just happened, yeah. Okay, absolutely. cool. Mm -hmm. um, so how would you describe your music genre? What would you say it is? Um, I, it's like, it's cello pop. Or kind of like chamber music pop. Okay. Kind of, uh, I have, I mean, some people call it neoclassical. Okay. I don't know, maybe some tracks that I've made are more into that, but they're also, they're, some is kind of quirky and some is very, very, yeah. um, what do you say, sad songs, <laughs> <laughs> but um, melancholic, maybe. Yeah. No, but it's, I, I would just say it's cello pop. I like really. that. Yeah. I like that description. <laughs> okay. And not a lot of category, I've, like songs fit into that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay, so yeah. you just came out with your first album, mm -hmm. and it's, is it Ah? Or, uh, yeah, I, I say like ah ah uh, uh, yeah. okay yeah. okay mm -hmm. I like that. Um, how did you start working on that, or how long did it take you to finish that? I wrote and recorded on my own in my home, so it was kind of stretched out. I ha I had very intense periods during a short time, and then I took a break from it. I went on tour with Ahmed, for yeah. instance, and. Um, so it, I think it took me like, I mean, the time, the actual time was like maybe three weeks to like write it and record it, everything. If oh. you would bake it in, to oh my just God, that's a <laughs> I was thinking. But I mean, it, it, it did take like a year or two, and I suppose yeah. you just have to. I suppose the process took that long because maybe it needed to be that long. So actually, maybe I should just say that it, it took a year. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. Okay, yeah. that's not not bad at all. <laughs> that's good. Um. So, do you have like an inspiration or a concept behind this album, or did it come from a lot of different places? 
it, it came from inside of me, <laughs> of course, but, uh, but really, I mean, it was, um, <clears throat> I felt I had collected a lot of inspiration and I needed to channel yeah. it. And this is the result. The product. Of that. Yeah. So it was definitely it was during um, a long time, I think. So when I actually sat down and started writing, it felt very like it, it was a very like cosmic flow. Yeah. It was a kind of a catharsis. Yeah, saying. kind yeah. of actually. Yeah. Definitely. So and I I can't really say. I mean, just a lot. Of, I I suppose everything, things that happen in life and. Things I've listened to, people I've played with, nature, from yeah. my hometown, Hamstad, just you know, just all fit into. Jumbled up into. Yeah. Them. Okay, nice. Um, I know I listened through the CD. You have different kind of songs. So you have like the yeah. poppy feeling, and then you have like you said a little more melancholy. Yeah. I just want to talk to you about the song Dinosaur. Yes. Okay. I thought just <laughs> that one is so interesting. Yeah. Um, so what's behind that song and the music video? Um, it's um, it's a song about uh, it's a breakup, uh, and uh, I'm just describing like relationships and how it was ended, kind of. Okay. Um, and um, and the video is um, for me it's like the line like <laughs> I always heard like it was a saxophone, like this yeah. really like eighties. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, I could play that line, and it's—I mean, it's kind of—I always felt it had some kind of '80s, 80s pop feel, to, feel it. to it. So then I just—I just started fantasizing about the aerobics theme. Don't really know why. I just yeah. felt like I wanted it. I, I thought it was a good combination with the song. Okay, and cool. I just, yeah. So I and if you guys haven't seen, I need to watch it. It's. It's like a jazzercise kind of a yeah. right, <laughs> yes, a little absolutely. '80s jazzercise thing yeah. going on. It's fun. I like it. Um, okay, so do you have a favorite track on the album? I know my. I listen to it. I like guilt. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Just because mm -hmm. I like that one a lot because I can't whistle, and she was whistling like crazy on this. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. It was. It was a nice one. I like guilt too uh -huh. because it's uh, it's emotional for me. Yeah, no, um, I felt that. Yeah. Um, I also like summer a lot. That's always been like, um, I don't know, maybe because, of, well, I like summer, obviously. Yeah. But it's also, um, I think it kind of represents a lot of what my music is like, kind mm -hmm. of. I don't know. But it's it, it really it changes a lot, actually. Sometimes it's one or the other. Yeah. I feel I actually feel very evenly happy. With all with the songs, all I must say, which is great. Yeah, I, I, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know, I, I mean, I could like. They were one is way better. Yeah, than yeah, yeah. But, but it's, yeah. I, I like the whole album actually. So. Okay, so you're on tour with your friend, correct? Yes. Yes. Your friend. Yes. How's that? It's great. We've been playing together since 2006. Okay. So we know each other very well. Toured yeah. very much. Um, and it's a very, I mean, it's so lovely. We haven't really, we never played like this uh, for a longer tour. We play on a duo. Uh, I perform with her. Uh, and um, it's very relaxed. So it's mm -hmm. me and her and a tour manager and the sound. Okay, simple. Yeah, and a lot of space in the tour bus. <laughs> Very luxurious. <laughs> yeah, but Otherwise, you're pretty crammed. Normally, it's 12 people. Yeah, yeah it's just the four of us. So it's, uh, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Okay, anything else you want to say or get out there? Well, I mean, listen to me. <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yes, but. <laughs> yes, but no. <laughs> yes, but no. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. This is KCR's Backstage Pass. Make sure to listen to Linnea Olsen.